I don't know if I want this kind of rescue. <laughs> Some Yostrom Master Lee. And Lula. All right, we're checking out another Radiohead song, one that I've never heard of before called Paranoid Android, but fans were recommending it mainly because the music video is a trip, they said. So I'm like, okay. Although when I was looking it up, I was uh, not surprised that this is another one of those songs to kind of speak to the kind of social anxiety that the lead singer had a lot of, or the band members, or quite frankly, just a lot of people go through. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, they got famous because of the song Creep, which, right. you know, I admit, I go through those scenarios where I feel like I'm the creep and it's just awkward trying to talk with girls or just fit into society. Right. But this song, Parano Andre, speaks to about that kind of social anxiety that you have. Right. Mm -hmm. Just do I fit in or not? So it feels like a kind of common theme <laughs> for this particular band, what they sing about. And at least he has an outlet and he gets a lot of Dorn fans because of that. But just imagine all the people in the world who feel that way. and They don't have any other way to like stand out to feel mm -hmm. like, you know, people appreciate you for something. Mm -hmm. Right. Even if you're socially awkward. It's like, how do we get past that? Because I don't know. I feel like we're very judgmental as society these days. And I think on the other side of those people who are very good at socializing, help them, right? No. Once you notice that kind of person is like, mm, okay, let me. I think that's when you have people who are genuinely thoughtful about like that social interaction. Because right. you're right there. I think there's introverts and extroverts. You could like classify them in half mm. but i think even with someone like extrovert to be cool so they only want to hang out with the other cool people because that perception of feeling cool and looking cool matters but then there are other half of that people i think that are extrovert i'm like you know what i am already above feeling cool i just naturally like to socialize and they connect with the people who normally aren't able to you know yeah. come out that way that takes a big person i think to recognize mm. that to get past that you know i would call social status desire if you will so i mean that was real deep for a song that we know nothing about here or music <laughs> video because just take a left turn but i just feel like no, i had I think to say for that subject though it's very it's very relevant today right yeah and and i think for me to like that experience it is really helpful if someone out there that is kind of out yeah to, to, to help like to bring to out tell our fans like if you ever see us out in public to come up to us because you know what it, it helps connect people all right, let's check this out. By the way, you want to geek out with us? Make sure you check out our channel. And if you want some harness, check out my fantasy show. Let's do this. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> <laughs> that poster is going to get us demonetized. Uh, His ass is going to get us demonetized. <laughs> Huh? That soap in his eyes. <laughs> That's, I can relate to that. Oh you my do god. That all the time. I have a friend in the tree. <laughs> If you're a fan of this music video, you got to explain what we just saw because... Why there's a woman on that tree. I don't get it. This is definitely not one of the things I do with a buddy. Uh, Go find random women in the tree so they can oh show me their titties. <laughs> like, what the fuck? There's got to be something going on with this. There's some deeper oh meaning. Oh, my God. Oh. 
<laughs> Even the driver's like, yeah, are you guys are kidding me. Look at the rats. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even notice that. <laughs> There's way too much going on in this bar scene for me to digest what's going on or even understand what's going on. But uh, I need to know the name of this bar because it looks like it's a lot of fun to hang out in. Oh my God. He's not going to. I want this kind of rescue. <laughs> oh, God. Hurry up. Angels almost got him. They had me for about half the video, and then I got completely lost at what the hell was going on.
It's I a really touching story, though. There's right. something very deep going on. But the music is kind of confusing to also... The music is not conventional music. Yeah, it's not a typical song. Right. It almost feels like it is telling a story as you're going through the motions of the emotion and what's going on with the person. And so the, in many ways, the music video fits that. Like it almost feels like the music was designed to play this, you know particular story out again until the end where I, it just it just lost me because it felt like they kind of just let that old chunky dude die on purpose like just like that eh, you know whatever and his friend came back he's like you know what i really don't want to die i just want to play ping pong with an, and, angel. with an angel and then the mermaids and the tree lady it really wants you to use your uh, maybe there's a meaning to all that or it, maybe there depends isn't on your interpretation really right? i guess so this is very adult swim for me i yeah just yeah. over my head here right right but uh up until that point wow I was, I was, i'm surprised this video has not been taken down from the internet because <laughs> youtube i don't think they realize those cartoon boobies uh, are, are in yeah. there there's a lot of them even the the fish. What Even the, yeah, I noticed that too. Did you say that too? Yeah, mm. definitely uh, the most unusual song I've heard in yeah, a while. It makes you think what it's about. My intro, oh. which was pretty long, still stands. You know what I'm saying? Just connect with people, man. Mm. Don't let people get to the point where they want to sit on a lamp pole. I feel like it's just really the, the bottom line. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that phone, like him sweating. That's totally me. I could totally relate to that. Like, even just a conversation over the phone freaks me out. That's a weird paranoia, Luda. I never knew that no. before about you. No? Like, because of my English. Remember, I took the job as a receptionist and... Wait a minute, the job where you got fired in one day? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was hell? a different job? Okay. No. <laughs> that was different. Oh, okay. 